everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but free way. It's going to summer and usually for this season, I want to wear something light, uh, breathable but also comfortable. That's why in today's video, I'm going to share with you two cute summer blouse. It's very easy to make, so I hope you guys will like it and try it out. And let's get started. The first DIY is gather neck blouse. I use 1.3 meters of fabric for this DIY. I start making the batters for the blouse first. To make the front batters, I cut two rectangles with 30 cm width, which is one and a half times a quarter of my bust size, and 60 cm length, which is the length from the shoulder to my hip. It's also the length of the blouse that I want. I connect two rectangles together by one length line by the big foot. From one end of the connecting line, I mark at 16 cm on the width line, which is one and a half times a half of the neck of the blouse that I want. I also mark down on the connecting line 10 cm, which is the deep of the neck that I want. Then connect two marks together. Based on it, I draw a curve line to create a neckline for the front bodice. Add another lane line, I mark down 24cm, which is a quarter of my burst thigh blood 4cm. It will be the deep of the sleeve of the blouse. Then connect this mark to one end of the neckline. Based on it, I draw a curve line to create a sleeve line at the front bodice. After cutting by the drawing lines, I mark down 10 cm on the connecting lines at the middle of the front bodice. It's the open part of the neck at the front bodice. Then sew the rest together. After sewing, I finish the open part of the neck by folding the end fabric inside two times with a half cm each time and sewing. To make the back batters, I cut a big rectangle with 60 cm length, which is the same length as the front batters, and 58 cm width, which is one and a half times a half of my bust size minus 2 cm. It's also the same width as the front batters I just finished before. I fold the rectangle in half by the length line first. Then I use the leftover fabric after cutting from the front batters to copy the curve line at the neck and the sleeve. So the line there will be the same to connect them together later. Now I'm connecting the front and the back bodice of the blouse together at two sides and sewing. To finish the end of the bodice, I draw a line at 6 cm above the ending line foot. After that, I fold the end fabric inside around 1 cm, then keep folding it again to the line just three we fold, and so to finish the ending line of the blouse. Mm -hmm. 
Moving to the sleigh, I cut a rectangle with 60 cm width, which is the width of the sleigh that I want. And 55 cm length, which is the length from the shoulder to my rig, is also the length of the sleigh that I want. I fold the rectangle in half by the width line first. Then I use the leftover fabric of the sleeve from the front bladder to copy the curved line. After cutting, I sew two underarm big lines together. At the end of the sleeve, I make a loose seam foot, then I create a garment fabric there later. The final width of the garment fabric will be 24cm, which is the width at the end of the sleeve that I want. Make sure it's bigger than your wrist size. I cut a rectangle with 4cm width, which is 4 times the width of the hem at the end of the sleeve that I want. And 28cm length, which is 2cm longer than the width of the gathering fabric I just finished at the end of the sleeve. I connect two width lines of the rectangle together to create a circle fabric first. Then I connect one side of the circle fabric to the gathering fabric at the end of the sleeve and sew. After the first seam, I fold the other side of the circle fabric inside 1cm foot, then keep folding it over the first seam and make the second seam. Now I'm connecting two sleeves to the main bodice at the sleeve line. After that, I make a loose seam at the neck of the plow foot, then I create a gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric should be bigger than the width of your head, so you can wear the plows over your head. And the width between two sleeve lines at the front and the back of the plow should be the same as the width between two inside shoulders. I cut a long fabric line with 4cm width, which is 4 times the width of the hem that I want in the neck of the blouse, and around 120cm length, which is longer than the width of the gathering fabric. So you can have extra fabric to create a tie for the blouse later. I connect the middle of the fabric line to the middle of the neckline at the back foot, then connect the rest together later in sewing. After the first seam, I fold the other side of the fabric line inside 1cm foot, then keep folding it over the first seam and make the second seam. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. It's a very cute and super comfy blouse. Using light and breathable fabric will make it perfect for summer. 
The next DIY is an elastic neck blouse. I use 1.1 meters of fabric for this DIY. To make the balance of the blouse, I cut two rectangle with 60 cm width, which is one and a half times a half of my bust size, and 60 cm length, which is the length from the shoulder to my hip. It's also the length of the blouse that I want. Folding two rectangles together before drawing. From the top of the length line, I mark at 10 cm on the width line. So the width between two marks on the width line will be 40 cm, which is the half of my bust side. From the top of the length line, I keep making another mark at 24 cm on the length line. It's the quarter of my bust side plus 4 cm for the folding of the neck later. I connect two marks together by the curved line, then cutting by the drawing line. After that, I connect the front and the back of the bandits together at two sides and sewing. To finish the end of the blouse, I fold the end fabric inside 1cm foot, then keep folding it again and sewing. Moving to the sleeve, I cut a rectangle with 60 cm width, which is the width of the sleeve that I want, and 40 cm length, which is the length from the shoulder to my elbow, plus 8 cm for the folding of the neck and the end of the sleeve later. I fold the rectangle in half by the width line foot. From one end of the length line, I mark up 10 cm on the width line. It's the same as the bias I made before. I also make another mark at 24cm on the length line, then connect two marks together by the curved line. Make sure this curved line will be the same as the curved line you made at the bias before, so you can connect them together later. After cutting, I connect two underarm big lines together. From the end of the sleeve, I draw a line 8 cm above it. After that, I fold the end fabric inside around a half cm foot, then keep folding it to the line just real before and sewing. Keep a small and so space there for the elastic pen to go through later. After sewing, I draw a line one and a half cm from the first seam and make the second seam to create a fabric hole at the end of the sleeve. Make sure the width of the fabric hole will be bigger than the width of the elastic pen you will use. I cut an elastic band with 1cm width and 30cm length, which is the length of my arm plus 4cm. I use a small hair clip to put the elastic band through the fabric hole, then connect two ends of the elastic band together after that and close the unsew space I kept before. Now, I'm connecting two sleeves of the main bandit to the blouse at the curved lines and sewing. At the top of the blouse, I create a fabric hole similar to the way I did at the end of the sleeve. I draw a line 8 cm under the top line foot.
After that, I fold the end fabric inside around a half centimeter, then keep folding it again to the line just real before and sewing. Make sure to keep a small unsold space for the elastic pin to go through later. After sewing, I draw another line one and a half centimeter from the first seam, then sewing to create the fabric hole there. Make sure the width of the fabric hole will be bigger than the width of the elastic band you will use. I cut an elastic band with 1cm width and 60cm length, which is the length of the neck of the blouse that I want. After putting the elastic pin through the fabric hole, sew two ends of it together and close the unsewed space you kept before that. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. You can wear this blouse in two ways, a normal elastic neck or off the shoulder neck. They are both super cute and comfy. I hope you like them on and try them out. See you next week!